Member for Ottawa Centre. Mr. Speaker, over 118 countries have signed the Arms Trade Treaty, including every single NATO country except Canada. After much delay, the Minister is now claiming that Canada's controls exceed those of the proposed ATT. So the question, Mr. Speaker, is why not sign the ATT? In fact, this will stop the illicit trade of arms, which are now a problem in South uh, Sudan, is a problem in Kar, is a problem in places like Nigeria. So the basic question is, when will the Minister sign this deal? The Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs some of the strongest uh, export controls in the world, including those through the Export and Import Permits Act and the Automatic Firearms Country Control List, Mr. Speaker. Uh, what we are deeply concerned about, Mr. Speaker, is the establishment of another long gun registry and the billions of dollars which could be wasted. And I know that's a great disappointment to my friend opposite. <laughs> Cette semaine, le gouvernement du Nigeria et le Comité international de la Croix-Rouge plaident pour la ratification du traité sur le commerce des armes. Cela nous aiderait à maintenir les armes illicites hors des mains de groupes terroristes comme Boko Haram, qui est responsable de l'enlèvement de 200 filles au Nigeria. Donc, le ministre écoutera-t-il le gouvernement du Nigeria et signera-t-il le traité pour sauver les vies? directed at my colleague opposite, I'm not aware of any Canadian arms uh, which have gone to uh, Boko Haram or any of the examples to which he's cited. So I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure how uh, those problems would have uh, been uh, stopped. What we do have is strong domestic legislation uh, that controls Canadian arms for finding its way into the hands of the very uh, organizations and governments that uh, she just suggested. Uh, she talks about uh, the government of Nigeria. Obviously, we have concerns in many respects uh, of that government in terms of uh, exporting arms, given their abysmal human rights record. Yeah, yeah.